and we'll either do reactions or vow, depending. Alright. I'm a Wonder Woman, let me go get my robe. I'm a supermodel and mommy, see mommy. Amnesty International got bank out to my sock a lot. Love my ass and my abs in the video for promiscuous. My style is ridiculous. If you see us in the club, we'll be acting real nice. If you see us on the floor, you'll be watching all night. We ain't here to hurt nobody. So give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Wanna see you work your body. So give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Get, yeah, literally L Micro Center one last for that. Like, I'm glad they fixed my PC, but they really fucked that whole game. They fucked that whole game. It like it, it, that's the root of it. Just because if that wasn't if that wasn't fucked up, the game would have been fine. Like there wouldn't have been a glitch there. It's just so fucking annoying. Like, why the fuck do they do that? All right, I gotta re uncap my FPS. And that fixes that. I, but that was never even a problem to begin with. I never had a max frame rate set for High on Life. And the first time I did the playthrough before they reset my PC, it was fine. I think it was the save file. Did I wash my hands? What do you think? What did chat vote on? Valor or Reactions? What won? Demolish and Piet for the sub. Demolish for the 300 bets. High on Life is W game, but it had L glitches. I don't even think the game glitched out. I think it was the save file. I said L High on Life, and I started sh shitting on Justin Roiland. But, like, I mean, I love High on Life. I love fucking Rick and Morty. I don't think it was their problem. I think it was just the save file. Valorant won? Which one? Y'all are both saying Reacts and Val. Which one? Arsenal for the 300 bets. Sorry, or for the 500 bets. Sorry you had all the problems that you've had for the past week, but you're a uh, fine W streamer. Thank you. Uh, and 4-inch for the 300 bets. Uh, you screaming makes the stream 100% funnier. You're my favorite streamer. Thank you. I'm glad you guys were entertained at me uh, in despair. So, yeah. Oh, that's why the NF... Uh, the NPCs and shit disappear because the save file is corrupted. That's what I would. That's what I would guess as well. Which one? Y'all are saying reacts one and Valorant one. Which one? Well, if we're doing reacts, I'm only doing like two reacts. Then tomorrow will be a philosophy stream. Thank fuck. I can have a a fucking rest from being pissed all the time. That's a W two. Tomorrow's gonna be a philosophy stream. Maybe some Valorant after that. Uh, and then. Um, Thursday is going to be Reacts and maybe some Valorant. Because we haven't played Valorant at all on this new PC yet. On stream. Literally. Uh, and eight, or maybe one game actually. Acer for the three. If it's got a hedgehog for Christmas, how was your Christmas? My Christmas was good. Um, other than me dealing with all these stupid ass problems. Alright. We will do Reacts if Reacts won. We'll do these two. Okay. Also, exclamation point Discord. Join the Discord, send videos for me to react to in the video suggestion tab. Always appreciate it. Uh, and they're very useful uh, for me. Because they help me find videos easier, obviously. But, all right, we'll do these two videos. We got a Jubilee, and then we got a Brave Wilderness video. This episode is All right. <sighs> Dude, I'm still pissed by that. I got to fucking relax. Should I drink a G Fuel to calm down? <laughs> That'll do the exact opposite. Let's drink a G Fuel. Grape gummies. Oh, shit. I got to change back to reacts. Reaction time. New flavor. I don't even know if it's a new flavor. It is. This is a flavor I haven't tried yet. This is a uh, grape. Somebody said Valorant won. Which actually won? Did Valorant actually win or did reacts win? Also, somebody banned this kid that's just typing weird, like, coding in my stream. Hold up. Mm. Oh, I just spilled my shit everywhere. Oh, I just spilled it everywhere. 
Oh, I just spilled it everywhere. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right. All right. Ban them. All right. I think I just might have unbanned them. I did unban them. Hold up. Let me reban. All right. All right. Are y'all ready to do reactions? Or is it Valorant? Which one? Which one? Val literally won? Okay, then are we doing Valorant or are we doing reactions? Holy fucking shit, chat. Holy fucking shit. Mods, which one won? I'm only listening to my mods because my chat's going to lie. My whole chat's saying reacts and Valorant won. Only one could win, chat. Not both can win. That's not how life works. They're lying. Reacts won. Okay, well, reacts won. If reacts won, we're doing reacts. Then we'll do... um. We'll do a philosophy stream and maybe some Val tomorrow. And then Thursday's a big react stream. And then maybe some Fortnite and Val. Uh, then Friday, which is the 30th to the 5th, I will not be live. Mr. Penguin for the five. Uh, let's watch reacts. Uh, by the way, I love you. What I love what you do so much. Keep up the good work. Thank you. I cut for the fringe bets. I didn't. don't think we didn't see that TikTok on Joe, but not mad. I literally told my chat I was going to post it on here. My chat's the people that told me to post that. Uh, demolished for 373 bits. Lost my laptop, so I have to watch you on my broken-ass phone. F. All right. Who's the most hooked on their phones? Teens rank themselves. Dude. 197 drafts? I gotta relax. I gotta relax. I hope this video doesn't piss me off. It's going to. <laughs> New Mr. Beast vid. I already fucking watched that. Yo, for the one kid spamming Mr. Beast... For the one kid spamming Mr. Beast before I start screaming at the top of my lungs again, I already fucking watched it. I already fucking watched it. Okay? I already watched it, right? I watched it on Christmas. you like 5,000. <laughs> oh my goodness. So today, we are going to be ranking on screen time. Oh, shit. Ooh. Okay. What is y'all's screen time? Let's actually start with that. I'm about to look at mine. How do you even see that? General. Where do you see screen time? I don't even know where you. Oh, it's right here. There's literally a whole setting. All right. What do you think my daily average is, chat? What is your daily average on your phone? Wow. You guys have a way bigger screen time than me. That's actually very sad, chat. Wow. Somebody just said 10 hours. 10 hours a day? How much is your daily screen time? My daily screen time average is 3 hours and 30 minutes. Sometimes it's 4. Generally speaking, it's around high 3s, low 4s. 3 to 4 hours, 3 to 4 hours a day. Generally 4. How is yours 12? How do you have 12 hours a day on your phone? Do you never turn your phone off? Only three get your screen time up? You're in uni? Dude, my job is social media. Are you saying you're in uni as an excuse, meaning, oh my God, your screen time's low? I'm in uni. My job is social media. I spent an hour filming TikToks before stream. I'm going to spend another two hours after stream filming TikToks. Y'all are sitting here fucking 16 hour a day screen time. Holy shit. Do you even go to class? Are you in class just on your phone? Do you never get off your phone? Oh my God. Average is 16 hours. Swear to God. How do you, how are you, do you go to class? How's everyone feel about that? Interesting. All right. I'll be on my phone a lot, so... Well, I am on my PC like four hours a day as well. More than that. Okay, so it balances out. You guys are just on your phone entirely. I'm on my phone and on my PC. See, that makes sense. Because my PC, I'm probably on my PC like six hours a day. The exact opposite. Uh, really? Mm, okay. Like, I'm up no. Oh, maybe. I put myself at the front. I put you I'll in put the front. Yeah. I put myself at the front. I put you in the front. Me? How high do you think the one, the highest person's is going to be? If it's like 20 hours or some shit, I'm going to fucking lose it. I think, and I feel like you'd yeah, be towards like you. the front, too. I feel like so, you'd be But I feel like I'd me. also be towards the front. 
Do you think so? I know you definitely I think you'd be a middleman. A middleman? A middleman. And I think you'd be number two. Okay. How do you determine who's the highest? Because ranking somebody by appearance on screen time, like, all of them look like kind of normal people. Like, the, the one thing I would say is, like, if they're very Discord modish, like, greasy hair, looks like they haven't showered in a few days, like, that would be the only way that I would be like, oh, your screen time's high. Like, how are they looking at each other and being like, oh, you're definitely higher than me? Like, nothing about any of them gives off, like, oh, you're on your phone a lot. Like, how do you how do you tell? I think, yeah. Okay. Okay. So. okay. And then you're I mean, behind I'm, me I'm, or no, in front of me? No, I think I'm, I'm here. in front of you. But okay. okay. I think this is solid. This is, yeah. I feel like, yeah, I feel good about this. Yeah, this sure. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> this is just, an, it, uh, just a genuine guess. What visual cues are you going off of? Exactly. What is the fucking pattern? How do they know? Like, this guy just said, oh, I'm at the top. Maybe because he thought he had a lot. But all these other people just kind of shuffled in randomly. I don't know. I was looking um, at outfits and stuff. Me yeah. too. Aesthetics. Vibes. Mm. Yeah. 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 I would definitely put him first. Why? Um, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> just got the feeling. <laughs> oh, the group will now check out each other's Instagram and TikTok profiles. I feel like that's where most of your guys' hours come from. What's, like, your most used app? All of you, it's TikTok. Without a doubt, all of you, it's TikTok or Instagram. Like, there's no, there's no fucking, maybe Snapchat or YouTube. Like, other than that, like, dude, mine's TikTok by far. Mine's TikTok the highest just because that's what I do. And I scroll on TikTok a lot. But, like, it has to be. Because other than that, what are you fucking using your phone for? Texting? YouTube? It's like, it's either texting YouTube, one of their social medias, like, it, it, it's that that's all it could be. And YouTube, I don't even watch on my phone. YouTube will watch my PC or, like, a TV. I do, like, I like Joaquin. I do fashion. I do, like, fashion yeah. inspo. Yeah. I, like, say where I'm from, how tall I am. And then, like, got the whole I do, like, fashion yeah. Dude, I used to have that I shit. Like, I used to have the whole... I still have, like, a bio similar to that. Bro's got the height up there. Oh, it's because he does fashion. That makes sense. All of the say all of a similar shit though. Say where I'm from, how tall I am, and then like I post stuff like this. Like it's just like. Yo, also quick shout for the Instagram exclamation point Instagram. Quick shout. I haven't shouted out the Instagram in maybe two years. <laughs> I, uh, you'll see me post once a month, once every five months. Chat if you want to check out the Instagram. I'll post once a year, maybe. <laughs> I went I went eight months without posting one time styling a certain and I do social media for a living thing yeah. you know what I mean right. so like I'll style these sweatpants mm -hmm. and then I'll, I'll show like three or four outfits yeah. from those that definitely then... takes a while to edit. get yeah. verified on Instagram I don't care about verification on Instagram it's just useless yeah. so I was yeah. sure. definitely yeah. this is my Instagram okay I don't really post that much mm -hmm. um I do like stories every once in a while but I have like okay. one post Okay. from my trip this summer. But I feel like people that have, like, empty profiles on Instagram are also the people that coincidentally are on it the most. You know what I mean? Like, people that have no posts and just, like, literally maybe a few stories are the same people that are scrolling on Instagram for 10 hours and like your post the second it comes out. Which makes no sense. Because how do you not post but you lurk the most? Mm -hmm. And then my TikTok. <laughs> 297 drafts? <laughs> <laughs> it used to be like 5,000. <laughs> oh my goodness. 5,000 drafts. What are you fuck? What, what are you refilming the same dance 45 times? 5,000 drafts. I don't even know. I don't even have that many. Guess how many drafts I have? I have like none. I All of my drafts are postable videos. But, like, I obviously don't post all of them. I've also, I also have an influx of videos right now because I'm going on vacation for a week. So I'm posting a lot of them. I fit. Yo. Someone said 54, and that was dead on. 54. Exactly. I have to film more today. Where are you going? I'm going on a ski trip uh, for about a week. Uh, December 30th to the 5th. And so I kind from December 30th to the 5th, I need like pff, how many videos? I need like 20 videos to post. 
around, just about maybe like maybe like 18 to 20 depending on how many I post a day and so I have to pre-record a lot more I always have 20 to 25 left but uh or I always have 20 to 25 ready just in case like I can't make videos for a week but um I always have an influx of videos that I can post GK for the sub uh pickle for the 300 bits uh bro the girl in the jeans is so fine I would let her do things to me on god stop four inch for the 300 bits when hunting Douglas, if every time you talk to something and you have guns out, you can find something. It's like blurring whatever you said. Is Douglas and kill him early. Oh, you can find out that the little octopus guy is uh, Douglas. Apple for the 600 bits. Uh, you should react to courtroom chaos. What is that? Demolished for the 375 bits. I already read that. So yeah, I post a lot of stories about like TV shows and <laughs> fan fiction mm -hmm. and just like my life. You know, I can okay. talk a lot about Heartstopper. Um, just like what I wear. Uh, this is my Instagram. It's got me in like a ski mask. <laughs> uh, and uh... I think he's on his phone the least. People's profiles that look like this are never on their fucking, never on their fucking phone, dude. You could call this man at noon and he wouldn't answer. Uh, and uh... TikTok. 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 Mm -hmm. Nice. I got like a I got like a following because I did like rap music content. Okay, okay. Ooh, maybe and, like, like you rapping or no, you no, like no. saying <laughs> no. rapping songs. <laughs> no, I, it's uh, it's like a, I did a tournament. Um, oh, okay. This is me. Uh, I actually post because oh, like yeah. the way I think is like this is me. Yeah. So like I post for myself more okay. than anyone else, and then I do have highlights, yeah. and then. I use my stories a lot. I have so much oh, fun. Yeah. Oh my god! I don't. I bro, like th this is so useless that they're showing each other this. Like maybe just like a quick, sh a quick flick. You don't need to explain. And they're all explaining every one of their social media profiles. Just show your Instagram and show your TikTok. Boom. Vote next. This was Disney, and then last wow. night was Universal. No, it was crazy. It was actually oh insane. Why did y'all vote for Reacts today? I'm gonna be on my dickhead energy. I am literally gonna be a menace. If any of them is more than 10 hours a day, that's fucking nuts. Attempt to rank themselves from least to most screen time. I would put you further down the line, maybe. Yeah. Just cause like- Why? She doesn't use TikTok and like, doesn't really use Snapchat. That's would... the only, yeah, that's okay. That's a good, that's a good accurate rating. If you don't have TikTok, your screen time is immediately lower than everybody else's. Move in, but I would also move you back. Yeah, yeah I agree. Yeah. I, but I feel like- I would put him in front of me. Oh. Okay. Oh, this video sucks. I actually don't care. So, yeah. I actually don't care. Can we just skip to the results? This video blows. Like, I'm on my dickhead shit today. I don't want to watch this. Be ahead of me. Yeah. I was <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, they're doing it. Memorize where every country is in the world. So now I just like do that for fun. <laughs> <laughs> This is the least. Oh no, he's in third. Wow. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. No. Six hours and fifty-one minutes a day, dude. I feel like that's a lot. Exactly. What did I, I thought say? I had a lot. Oh my gosh. Most views is YouTube. I'd be on YouTube for four hours and twenty-three minutes. That's what it's. See, said. but that's not that bad. You know what I mean? Like, if somebody's screen time is high and it's YouTube, are you really dissing them? Like, if their screen time's high and it's fucking Instagram or Facebook or TikTok, I'd be like, all right, you need to get off that shit. But, like, if your screen time's high and it's YouTube, it's not that bad. You're not off today? No. I'm not taking off this Tuesday because I'm going to be uh, on vacation from December 30th to the 5th. So I won't be live. So I'm streaming today, tomorrow, and Thursday. But I do, like, I usually, like, I'll fall asleep to, like, YouTube videos, so I think that's what I it is. I don't fall asleep to shit. Do you guys fall asleep with, like, the TV on or YouTube or anything? I can't do that. I will turn off my, I have to turn off my phone. I have to. But other than that is TikTok. TikTok, I mostly use when I'm awake, so I'll scroll through. <laughs> TikTok, I mostly use when I'm awake. No shit. <laughs> Well, TikTok, I mainly scroll on while I'm actually, you know, thinking and not asleep. Well, yeah. How else would you use it? Second, Noah, eight. Wow. <laughs> eight hours? Dude, that's nuts. Wow. <laughs> did I just finesse everyone? <laughs> How did I go from, wow. So I was actually surprised by this. Uh, YouTube is my most used. TikTok. 15 hours a week, 15 hours a week on TikTok. Has almost 
15 hours also. Um, Spotify is at five hours. That's not and, bad. And uh, Snapchat, four hours. Waze, four hours. What is Waze? What is Waze? What the fuck is that? What is Waze? Airports are shut down. What do you mean airports are... Oh, it's a GPS app? Why not just use Apple Maps? Twitter, three hours and 45 messages three hours and 40 um and instagram was like 3 30 but everything else was minimal what is he doing four hours on snapchat a day no that was a week i'm proud i'm not first <laughs> i still like uh, nine hours, <laughs> nine hours. <laughs> what is she watching this is a hourly you started thinking back like what do i even do i read a lot so kindle is at 10 hours Kindle, Kindle, you're reading, you're re- Ew, education, get her out of here, get her the fuck out of here, education, reading 10 hours a day, oh wait no, 10 hours a week, holy shit, okay, oh my god, 10 hours a day, I was about to shit my pants, what the fuck, I was gonna say you're reading that much, what are you reading, a book a day, what are you, Ty Lopez? Got in my garage, my new Lamborghini. You know, I try to read a book a day. Okay. Giraffe and Alex for the sub. Look for the 300 bits. Loki crushing over the girl in jeans. She can twist. Oh, God, stop. No. I'm not reading that. Fire for the sub. Alex for the sub. And seven minutes. YouTube is eight hours and 18 minutes. I have no idea how. Instagram is five hours and 48 minutes, even though I have a one hour time limit set for that. Google. You have a time limit set? You gotta have the mental fortitude to give yourself a time limit? Oh, fuck no. Like a parental lock? Dude, if I'm scrolling on TikTok or some shit, after an hour, it's just like, oops, you reached your time limit for today. I'd be like, bitch, override. Override. The fuck? I'm not listening into that. Oh my god. No time limit on the Kindle Fire, though? You just reading all day? What is... Four hour and 25 minutes. Google Chrome for four hours. The fuck are you doing on Google Chrome? Messages, three hours and 22 minutes. TikTok what is- What are you Googling for four hours? What are you Googling for four hours? Three hours and 17 minutes. Camera is two hours and 31 minutes. Netflix How? 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 That's a week, but still. Two hours on the camera app? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> What are you just take? you just staring at yourself with the camera like it's a mirror? Two hour on the camera app, dude. My camera app's probably a minute. Netflix is two hours and twenty one minutes. I started a new K drama last week, and it was insane, mind blowing. Ten out of ten. Uh, Spotify two hours and seventeen minutes. Twitter an hour and thirty six. That makes sense. Crunchyroll anime. Disneyland fifty three. My top. <laughs> oh, the Disneyland app. Delete. Delete. Delete the Disney the Disneyland app. Delete, delete. Get that the fuck out of here. Oh, is reading. What does the Disneyland app even do? That's not even Disney Plus. What is the Disneyland app? What is that? What What do you use that for? Touring the parks. That's pretty good. <laughs> Mr. Creator, <laughs> you were you were you were supposed to be know, here. I third, media. I did not think third. Yeah, you I feel like people, people over guess how much creators use their phones. Like I I try like out outside of social media, like I'm not gonna be like on my phone that much comparably. Like I mean, I'll be scrolling and shit, but it also makes you not. Somebody redeemed hit Bob. Thank you. Actually, thank you. I've had a terrible day today. Thank you for redeeming hit Bob. I'm about to actually demolish Bob here. Hold up. I gotta get in my cheese state. Not my cheese state. Chi. Chi. Chi state. Not cheese.
One big punch. No music. No music. That was weak. Hold on. Right to the gut. Fuck. I missed. Fuck. These are shitty punches. Oh my god, fuck. Make out with Bob? No, I did that on Christmas. A-O? No, I did. What do you mean A-O? I actually made... On stream, I made out with Bob. Alright. Fuck. Pickle for the strange bits. <sighs> Cheesy for the sub, Alex for the sub. Somebody says this normalizes hate crimes against disabled people. How? How? Because Bob has no arms? All right, next video. Punched by a mantis shrimp by Coyote Peterson. This episode is officially sponsored by Fishing Clash. Over the years, there's been a looming question haunting the Brave Wilderness YouTube channel comment section. When was the last time we watched Coyote Peterson? It's been forever. Coyote, will you get punched by mantis shrimp? That alien looking creature right there is famous for having the fastest punch in the animal kingdom. Getting punched by a mantis shrimp could break your bones. Have you ever seen a mantis shrimp punch chat? They break glass. Like, easily. Like, it's, it's fucking, hold up. The peacock mantis shrimp. The three green white. Things judged. Spectra. Smaller shrimps. Two caliber bullet. Too close. Oh, that looks very lackluster. It can break glass, though, like pretty easily. Um, so if you own a mantis shrimp, you have to have like reinforced, like not fiberglass, but like glass to the point um, where you at. Oh, this one, this guy starts bleeding. Ooh, ooh, should we show this? Wait, I need to see. That is the, and it whatever grabbed a hold of my booty. And they're brand new. Oh my gosh. Uh, it just yeah, punches a hole it. in his skin. It went through his wetsuit and broke a hole into his skin. It's not that bad. I'm not going to shout though. It's kind of boring. All right. We'll watch Coyote Peterson get punched. They have like the strongest punch though. They When they, pu when they punch underwater, it creates like a warp. And today we're going to answer the question as to whether or not it can blast a hole in a human hand. The acceleration rate of a mantis shrimp strike has been scientifically clocked around 50 miles per hour, oh. similar to the rate at which a 22 caliber bullet leaves the barrel of a gun. They use this strike. Wait, a bullet only goes 50 miles. A bullet does not go 50 miles an hour. Oh, when it exits, I was gonna say it accelerates. I was gonna say that is not how fast a bullet's going. It's when it's accelerating. To kill their prey. I was gonna say, oh, no damn 50, 50 miles per hour. Yep, caught that. Nope. Oceanic buffet line of crustaceans and fish. To better understand what a prey species might experience when impacted by that strike, I'm going to bravely embrace the slap shot wrath of Stinger. Goes in the All gear. Right, Stinger. Here we go, buddy. Currently, the Columbus Blue Jackets angry looking insect holds the NHL mascot record for fastest slap shot, scorching goals at 75 miles per hour. To replicate a mantis shrimp. If you got slap shot in the chest, would that break your ribs? 
Like, if he, if that mascot slap shot a hockey puck into my rib cage, it would break me. It would break my rib cage. Really? Really, it would break my rib cage that easily? Wow. Fuck. Hockey's scary as shit. And he's a mascot. That means he's not even that good. Prey species. How fast is a slap shot of like a pro NHL player? NHL slap shot speed. 108 miles an hour. <laughs> Dude, that would kill you. If that hit you in the heart, I feel like that would stop your heart. Keys, such as a crab. I'll be armoring up in full goalie gear, which like a crab's protected. Coyote, I, th I, I thought you were, I thought you weren't a bitch. I thought you, you're being a little weenie hut fucking junior right now, Coyote. I thought, I thought you raved the wilderness and everything that came with it. You're getting all padded up to get slap shot in the chest. I say you just walk out, no pads, let him fucking nail you in the rib cage. Exoskeleton will work to defend. You do the it then? No, I'm not Coyote Peterson. It would break my rib cage. It wouldn't break his. Off insides of my body. Don't ask me why, but I have a feeling that this is still going to be. Did he finish high on life already? Dude, let's just say yes. Let's just say we finished high on life. Yes, yes, yes. Okay? The save file got corrupted. I had to fix all that shit. It was a fucking pain in the ass. We just watched. We watched the end. We were an hour away from the end of the game. We just watched the final boss fight. It was the biggest pain in the ass ever. The first two and a half hours of stream, I was just screaming. I've been mad this whole stream. Do not ask me about high on life. Ghost for the sub. Painful. Boom. I feel like you should just punch me in the chest once so that I can just feel, oh, yeah. So just that impact is noticeable. I feel like these pads have the- You are padded up the dick, dude. That's That didn't even sound right. You're padded out the ass. There's no way it hurts. There's no way it hurts that bad. Least amount of protection on the chest, strangely enough. In the NHL, most players fire slap shots between 80 and 100 miles per hour. Stinger is capable of whipping consistent zingers between 50 and 60 miles per hour, which is pretty fast for a mascot. So how does that equate to impact force? Well, for starters, the equation to measure impact force looks like this. Where M... Bro, oh my god, oh, 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 I don't need, I don't need, no, don't try and teach me anything. Coyote, Coyote, I've had a shitty day, don't try and teach me anything. I'm not doing math, I'm not doing math. Do not try and tell me how to do this equation. Mass times velocity divided by 2t, whatever t is, equals f. Is the mass of the body, the hockey puck. V is the velocity or speed at which the hockey puck is traveling. And T is the time it takes to make impact. Ah! 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 Save your brain the mental math. Bro's Matt Pat. No, literally, Matt Pat's the worst. Matt Pat. No, I love Matt Pat. Matt Pat is the worst with that shit. Matt Pat will explain basic math every single YouTube video. He'll be like, you'll take this, and you, and he'll make it sound so complicated, right? If you listen to a Matt Pat equation, he'll make, like, addition sound like, like, fi like fucking physics. He'll make addition, like, 8 plus 8 sound like you're fucking, you're, you're, you're measuring the quantum physics of the universe. Like, okay, Matt Pat, right? You just add 8 plus 8. It's not that hard. We ran the calculations, and a hockey puck traveling 50 miles per hour has an impact force of 5.24 newtons. That might not seem like much, but trust me, even with my exoskeleton padding, when those pucks hit in the right spot, they definitely hurt. Hit him in the nuts. Give him the old dick twist. Hit him in the nuts. Hit him in the nuts. Right in the nuts. Yeah, right there. Definitely knocked the wind out of me. What would happen if you got hit slap shot in the balls? Would they just explode? Ooh, oh my god, and it would be like cheese curd, just kind of like in a sack. Ooh. It would be like a smoothie almost, kind of just like in shards. How do you repair that? Do they just chop them off at that point? 
Yeah, it would be like it would kind of be like cheese forming, like curds. It'd be like curdling. Well, yeah, no, you wouldn't be able to have kids anymore for sure. But like, if you got slap shot, it hits both of them. Oof, oof. What if it just bouncy balls? I doubt that happens. I guarantee you, they crush like an Orbeez. That's how I always envision it. Have you ever held an Orbeez and just and just smushed it? And you know how it kind of like it has a lot of leeway, right? And then when you press it hard enough, it just it just kind of like smushes into like maybe five or six pieces. That's what I envision happening there to where like it has a lot of give. Right. And then when you break it, it just goes and it just fucking sm it just smushes. But it's really painful. Why are y'all saying stop? The shrimp shot right in the chest. Joe turning into a psychopath. How am I turning into a psychopath? I've thought about what that would be like. Oh, oh man, that was a full on impact. Oh, like, what if what if somebody full force kicks you in the nuts? Do you if you, if some not even a slap shot. If somebody hits you, like let's just pan the scenario out, right? Say you walk. Say you're in a fight. You walk up to somebody and just go, wait. Right into the fuck, like dead ass, just ugh, right into the fucking, right into the nuts. Is that, is that breaking them? No, I don't think that would. I think it would hurt. I think it would hurt. I don't think that would break them. I don't think that would break them. I think a slap shot would. Uh, well, if I was a crab, I would definitely be dead at this point, and the mantis shrimp would be feasting upon my remains. That was okay, so I think we're ready to film. Coyote! Is he yeah, just gonna yeah. stick his hand into the fucking tank? <laughs> Is he literally just gonna sit in this folding ta chair and just go, All right, the mantis rip. 50 miles an hour punch. It just snaps off his finger. It literally just, like, it just, it just nubs off his finger and starts eating it. Just a minute. Dude, oh, oh! C common coyote reaction. Oh, oh, the pain is immense. Oh, it's like nothing I've ever felt before. He's eating my finger. Oh. What are you doing? I'm about exactly to red belly catfish. Red tail catfish, check that out. All right, Coyote Pack. We're moments away from me getting into the punch. That ruined it. You, you're, you're really going to, you're doing it. Yo, no. Brad's doing Skip. Skip. Damn, what is that, a two-minute sponsor? Holy shit. I haven't seen a two-minute sponsor in a while. Game. I think it's time. Oh, is he just going to do the it? The peacock mantis shrimp is a cunning predator, and its merciless strike is inflicted using raptorial appendages. These medieval-looking weapons come equipped with a smasher and a spear, allowing the animal to use one or both tools based on... An elite predator. That's crazy how I beat the shit out of this mantis shrimp. That's crazy. That's crazy how this mantis shrimp, yeah, might break my arm. That's why I fucking grab it like the Hulk and crush it. And yet, elite predator. I'd step on it. I'm the victim it plans to eviscerate. What's more impressive is the shrimp's ability to create a cavitation bubble. Formed when an object, like the smasher club of a mantis shrimp, moves through water at an incredibly high speed. Remember, our little crustacean friend Strike. Bro, it's an already dead. You're just fucking, you're beating a dead horse or a dead crab at this point. Mantis shrimp's dead. You're just fucking, you're just smashing into it right now. Holy fuck. Our little Things crustacean friend dead. Strike has an acceleration rate of 50 miles per hour. When the bubble collapses under surrounding pressure, it creates a burst of high energy light, heat, and sound. Basically, a catastrophic shockwave that stuns or kills the shrimp's target. So what do you get when you combine the smasher's lethal impact and an exploding cavitation bubble? Nature's most deadly strike. How many mantis shrimp do you think it would take to kill someone? You're, how many mantis shrimp could you go against until they murder you? You're in the water. You're swimming. I would say a hundred. I think a hundred would kill me. I mean, not, I, well, like, between 90 and 100, right? Because that's just on the dependent scenario and how well I am at exterminating them. But, like, I think I think 10 I could easily handle. Ugh, I don't know. Dude, even maybe, like, 20. Because if they start poking holes in your, like, say, say 20 surround you. 
yeah, you can start killing them with, like, you just crushing their bodies and shit. But, like, eventually they're going to be hitting your hands. They're going to be poking holes and you're going to start bleeding. I think, like, maybe fi at 50 possibly could kill a person. Also known as fatality. Now, to test out the punch of the mantis shrimp, in my opinion, there are two different ways that this can go down. A defensive punch or a predatory punch. A defensive punch would work like this, and it's the first thing we're gonna try. Imagine an eel investigating the underwater environment. Now, mantis shrimp are incredibly territorial, and if that eel sticks its nose down into a mantis shrimp's They're hole- They're kinda cute, though. The mantis shrimp. Shrimp are incredibly territorial. Look how they, and like, when they do that little back turn. And if that eel sticks its nose- I would own one. Goes down into a mantis shrimp's hole, bop! It's going to get a shot straight to the nose. So I'm going to turn my should, Can you own, should I get a mantis shrimp? If they let me own a mantis shrimp, I would get it in the back of my stream. I would get it in the back of my stream. It's probably like $1,000 though. They're probably expensive as shit. How much is a mantis shrimp? I wanted to get an oxalato and they're legal and they're $120. $130. Dead. $130 dead. Can you get a mantis shrimp as a pet? Yes, it says you can. They can live for 20 years. Bro, that's fucking nuts. Uh, they can live for 20 fucking years. Oh, you only got a, and that's, that's actually pretty worth. You get $140 shrimp, you keep them for 20 years. Fingers, essentially, into the nose of an eel. <sighs> Yo, not the fucking two-finger method. Buddy, do your fist. What if it fucking breaks your finger? What are you doing? Somebody donated 5k bets. <gasps> Tonball for the 5,000 fucking biddies, dude. Holy shit. Tonball for the 5,000 bits said I could kill like 15. You don't think you could kill more than that? You're in the water with 15 mantis shrimp. They're surrounding you. It might be kind of hard to defend. You're probably going to get pretty injured, but I think you would still live. Josh for the sub. Beef corn for the three inch bets. There were two players, and one of them tried to kick the other in the balls, and his blade on his ice skates slit the other dude's ball sack in half. Did it just spill out? Like, were they hanging? Are they hanging by anything? Are they just kind of like jello? Oh, God. Stop. 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 Why? Why am I telling myself to stop? I'm the one that's fucking talking about it. Tonble for the 5,000 fucking bits, though. Thank you for the 5,000 bits. He's broken for the sub. Oh, look. He's coming right out. This is dumb as shit. I'm putting my fist. I'm going to let him punch me like here. I'm not putting my fingers out, bro. What if he bites one? Put at me. All right. It's or definitely fucking curious. fucking it too hard. I'm just going to pretend that I'm an eel. Investigating around the rocks. Looking around in the sand. Wait, I'm going to predict the reaction. It's going to hit him. He's going to pull back and go, Oh, oh, that really, oh, yeah, oh, the, the power of the mantis shrimp. Coming this direction. Oh, boy. Okay, I think the mantis shrimp is definitely on to me. I could see its eyes twitching. The little antenna up front beginning to sense that a possible predator's near. Definitely investigating my fingers. Oh, 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 he just hit me right in the tip of my fingernail. Not very hard though, just a tiny little test punch. Nah, this I... shrimp's a bitch. This shrimp's a bitch. Get another one. Nah, this shrimp, this shrimp's a fucking bitch. Get another shrimp. Nah, that one's be. look at him. He's cowering. He's cowering. In the tip of my finger. Nah, look at that. Not very hard nah. though, just a tiny little oh, test punch. Oh, look at him. Oh, you fucking loser. Oh no, you gotta give it you gotta give him a good whack. You gotta try, bro. Come on. Punch. By weak no ass shrimp. Weak ass fucking shrimp. All that hype for nothing. Is that a full on swing? I'd call that investigative. I think we have that failed. That was a little nudge. On the defensive punch tactic. He just tickled the tips of my fingers and realized this isn't gonna eat me. And this isn't something that I can eat. Next, we're gonna go for a different tip. Gulp? Coyote, what do you mean by that? So, how are we going to possibly then pull off- Coyote Peterson. <laughs> he has all this gear out. He's like, 
He's like, all right, I'm gonna insert into here and you know, I'm gonna act like it's a crab. Predatory punch, great question. This mantis shrimp eats a variety of different prey items. One specifically is known as a krill. And with these strapped to my fingers, will it come out and try to remove them off of my fingers using its hammers? Who just rubber banded shrimp to his fingers? Quite possibly its harpoon. I have a feeling that if a punch is going to happen, it's coming from the predatory approach. This better be nothing. He better hide this shit of out smell of smell And an incredible sense of sight. And right now, because we are attempting the predatory punch, he seems to be pretty chill and just tucked down in the rocks. Let me try to get my fingers. Oh, there is the antenna. Now sensing the shrimp. Okay, something's happening. Okay. Oops, Damn, he eating them bitches up. He eating them bitches up. Grappling. Holy Not. shit, how big is his mouth? He's grabbing away from me. No, 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 he's got one. Shoot. He did not punch. He's just grabbing. You didn't think this through at all, Coyote. What the fuck is this? You didn't think this. Bro, come on. Just start flicking it. Start flicking it. Start antagonizing it. Start getting it mad. That's what I'm going to do. You're fucking stalling this shit. I'm going to start I'm gonna start nudging it. You know what I mean? I'm going to say, oh, you're not going to punch me? That's what you got to do. You start poking it. Start poking it until it fucking jabs you. That's what you got to do, man. Come on. You're trying to, you're trying to, oh, I'm, I'm not a threat. Oh, just punch me. No, just start fucking hitting it until it starts fighting for its life. You got to make it scared, coyote. You got to make it think that it's going to die unless it fights you to the death. This is the right idea, though. Uh, those little claws are so sharp. He literally stole one of the shrimp off the lower fingers. And now, oh, he's got a mouthful of shrimp. Mm, come back in. They are gluttonous, though, and from previous feedings, we know that he will take more pieces of food than he normally needs just to stow them away under the Damn, sand. Damn, like, hit him with that. Bro, he just broke that crab in half. And that's what they'll do. He just broke that crab in half. Sometimes kill a crab or bust open the shell of a clam and take the insides and hide them and actually come back from later Those are on. like dogs. Look at them. Caching their food and storing it for later. Ding, ding, ding. All right, guys. I think the fight is over. And while I hate to admit it, I'm officially declaring myself the loser. The mantis shrimp didn't win by knockout, but it did win by stealing the fight. It tore the shrimp right off of my fingers. Nah, nah, nah. No damn way I watch this whole ass video. No damn way I watch this whole ass, nah. Nah, bro. No fucking way. No fucking way. No fucking way, dude. And then they're all talking about how intelligent it is. Yeah, bro. Start nudging it. Start flicking the thing. Bro, come on. Now I gotta watch one where he actually gets hurt. Where, what should I watch now? Now I, now I gotta see Coyote actually get fucking hurt. I wanna see something stab him. 300,000 maggots versus human feet. Yep. Yep. Oh, the toes. <sighs> what was that? <laughs> Bro should have posted this on OnlyFans. This would have done some work. This would have done some work on OnlyFans. They can't like bro. Yo, you think anybody actually watched this video turned on though? Someone did. This video, this video was posted two weeks ago. This man's wearing some gnarly ass socks, getting his feet chewed up. Someone did. Go into my foot, can they? Could that happen, Mario? What is this? <laughs> Hello, maggots. Oh boy. How have I find myself in this seat yet again? Coyote Peterson in front of a container filled with creatures that very well may eat him alive. Well, I've always been curious as to whether- You know, I'm, this is gonna be weird, but those look pretty good to me. I used to eat the cheese ones at the aquarium. I would eat those. <laughs> I if you If you slightly fried them, 
salted them, maybe a bit of cheese powder, I would eat them. I would eat them. I would. Well, may eat him alive. Well, I've always been curious as to whether or not maggots eat human flesh, alive or dead. And today, we're going to answer that question. But before we get into the entertainment, and my feet go into this container, with 300,000 maggots, first, we need to learn something about these creepy creatures. So we're going to take the science train to the Ohio State University. Oh, fuck off. Oh, fuck off. Put your feet in the goddamn maggot bin. Come on. The life cycle of a fly breaks down into four distinct phases. First, a female lays a batch of eggs in some type of decay. Wait, a maggot is a fly? Dead ass? So every fly started out like those little shitters. You didn't know that? No. I, I actually, I'm dead ass. I did not know that. I took AP Bio too. That's sad. Organic matter. The process is quick, as these eggs will hatch in less than 24 hours. This is the second stage, known as larva or maggot. These hungry baby flies gorge themselves in order to grow and eventually molt into their next stage, pupa. During this stage, they develop a cocoon-like shell that looks like a mouse turd where they go dormant and do not move or eat. Inside the cocoon, uh, they- uh, See, I wouldn't eat that. I wouldn't eat that, but I would eat the little maggot dudes. I would eat the little maggot dudes. I'm not eating that shit. That thing is hairy. That thing is hairy. Eyes, growing wings, antenna, and left fly. And, it's, and I can feel that the maggots are beginning to work their way into the meat sock. So there are now maggots in between the chicken skin and the human skin. And I don't know where things are gonna go from there, but I'm a little nervous about this foot at this point. The what if they start feeling pain? If they start biting him, he would just know? It doesn't translate is the smell. The smell of these maggots, which just smells like rotting flesh, is just maybe completely grossed out at this point. If you examine a single maggot under a microscope, you will see that they lack any weaponry for harvesting flesh. No teeth, beaks, Freddy Krueger hands, or venom lace proboscis. Hey, what the fuck was that? Oh my god! No teeth, beaks, Freddy Krueger hands, or venom lace proboscis. Oh my god! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god, that thing looks straight out of a fucking horror movie. Oh, something might be happening with the meat sock foot. I am experiencing some sort of pain on the inner curve of my foot. Uh, how are they Instead, maggots have creepy mouth hooks that allow them to grapple and pull their rough skinned bodies, scraping like a cheese grater, over dead flesh as they squirm through a carcass. I might be getting bitten. It's tough to tell, but it definitely feels like a up and impactful nibbles or bites. Now, we're gonna take out into it. Pockets. Maggots pour. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, it did nothing. Okay, it did nothing. Oh my god. Oh, that was scaring me. Holy shit, that was scaring me. Stung twice, scorpion fish versus lion fish. Dude, what should- Ooh, bitten by blood worms? See, that was that weird thing. Did we watch that? Dude, now we're just on a Coyote Peterson watch party. Now I just wanna- Now I just wanna see him- I wanna see him be in pain. I wanna see him freak out. Pickle for the three bits and love for the sub. Love for the sub. Oh, wants to bite me. I'm actually going to get chomped. Ew. Ready? One. Two. Who the fuck is this guy? Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? I want Coyote. What is his name? Mark? Get Mark the fuck out of here. Mark? I don't want to see Mark get bitten by a blood worm. I want to see... I want to see... Coyote Peterson get bit by a blood worm. Right, there's gonna be more than one. 
Now what I'm going to try to do is head the provide. That's so fucking stupid. That's so fucking stupid. I want to see Coyote get hurt. I don't want to see you get hurt. Where's Coyote Peterson? Will a hog snake bite him? Bigfoot skull? Bro, now he's getting into conspiracy theories. What the fuck is this? Bitten by a thousand deadly mosquitoes. Oh, wow. Look at that. They just went straight for my proboscis works, which is the front little suction cup straw apparatus, is they land and then they slowly begin to unneedle. Something happening at this point. Those two outer needles begin to saw through my tissue. The other two, right to the side of those, spread the tissue apart. And then it's the center needle that begins to probe around looking for a delicious blood cell in which it can suck out the blood. Now, they say you can't feel anything when you're bitten by a mosquito. I definitely feel something going on right now. But for mosquitoes to drink more blood, they use an anticoagulant that they insert into your blood. Oh, my hand's beginning to shake a little bit. So that the blood has better flow and they can get a meal. Dude, why would you ever do this to yourself? Like, how much would somebody have to pay you to do this? He probably made like 5K from this. Oh, shit. 5 million views. Now he made like 30K. Okay. Yeah, 30 grand. Yeah, 30 grand. I Yeah, 30 grand. I shove my hand in a fucking box of, uh, of a thousand mosquitoes. It's gonna, it, it's not even the issue of this because he's not gonna get like malaria, right? It's the problem of the next two weeks. His arm's gonna be fucking swollen and like itchy. Quicker. Oh, actually, the one right in the center of my hand, I can really feel. I turn this way. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh God, top. on the in-betweens of his hands? Of my hand. There must be close to 150. Watch the bullet ant one I did. If not more mosquitoes currently on me. Dude, so I want to see what the after effect is. How long? Oh. Ching, swelling, and an uncomfortable annoyance. <sighs> the level of that. His left arm is swollen. Look at his arm. Look at his arm. That one is normal. What the fuck? Is best described as the itch you can't scratch. My arm has been out of the box of mosquitoes for about 10 minutes now, and you can clearly see that the welts are beginning to form. I have counted, as we were setting up for the cameras, nearly 250 bites. That's not to say that there aren't bites on top of bites. So I'm just gonna round up a little bit and say, I got 300 bites in that matter of time. The top of my arm, the underside of my arm. And okay, this actually, something similar happened to me when I was 12. I went fishing in Florida and I was in a like swarm of these things called that they call no seams because they're so tiny. And I didn't know I was in a swarm of them. And I was fishing for like four hours in shorts. And they bit the fuck out of my legs. And no lie, I had like 150 bites. It was the fuck. I, I wouldn't even itch it. I would go like this. Like say, I had like a mound of say like 30 on my, on, on my, um, on my leg. But I mean, I can't show my legs because I have sweatpants on. So say this was my leg and I had 30 bites and it was itching. I would go like this. And I would just start slapping the shit out of it until it didn't fucking itch. Because if you scratched it, it hurt. In between my fingers is the absolute worst. Yeah, now no, getting bit by more than like four mosquitoes or just anything is awful. Combat the unbearable itching that I'm going through right now. We're going to test And yo, you know what's bullshit? People that do this. You know when you get a bug bite and motherfuckers press down on their finger and they make a cross? That shit doesn't work. Whoever the fuck says that shit works, it does not fucking work. I do that, it doesn't. It, it, it helps for like a minute. And then it's just, it's just even more and it just flattens it. Without Chigrex. This product has been around for more than 50 years. This is the original. Specifically designed for residue. Is this a sponsor? Bro's just rubbing up his arm with this goo. At this point, Chigrex, with two times the power, works immediately well how about that wow an ad an ad at the end expand for the sub quiz for the sub run for the three inch bets you know pat from popular mmos he got arrested for the third time for being drunk and running across a football field in the middle of a game popular mmos got drunk 
and ran down a football field. The bro that makes Minecraft videos got the bro that got, that made Minecraft videos. No way he did. That's not him. Oh my God, it is. An update tonight on this man right here who ran onto the field in the middle of the Jaguars game yesterday and the two men he was with. They have all now been banned from TIAA Bank Field. That's popular MMOs. That man has big as shit. And Daly's place for life. That's now, not this him. This is video of what happened yesterday. Okay. According to the barrier substance. With the field approval. Good luck. Okay. That was a stupid. Oh, is that him? Is that him? All right, Mr. Gillenell. Good luck. Okay. That was a stupid thing you guys did yesterday. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, he thinks that shit's funny. The Jaguars have released a statement reading in part second chances. Bro, this is the third time he went. He streaked at a football game. Dude, even if he was drunk, he had to know that he was like, yeah, today's the day. I'm going to do it for a third time. I'm stealing out. Good luck. Okay. That was a stupid thing you guys did yesterday. <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah, he was now, the giggling. The Jaguars have released a statement reading in part second chances will not be given to if players. Bro, popular MMOs got arrested for streaking at a football game. No way. He hasn't even posted on YouTube in a year. That is fucking hilarious. Is that like, should you be, should we be upset at him for that? Like, I mean, like it's stupid, but like, bro, it, like, it's like, it's a harmless crime. Like he just streaked at a football game. He just, you know, like it's stupid as fuck. It's a way, like he just wasted the time. Why did he do that? Pop, I'm about to, I'm about to go on Google. Popular MMOs arrested. Public intoxication. Ah, see, I don't know about that. Public intoxication. He's gotten arrested multiple times. Battery. Yikes. He's been charged multiple times. He got put out on bail, and then he went arrest. Okay, in 2021, he got arrested again for assault with a deadly weapon. Popular MMOs, what is going on? Then he went streaking at a football game? What the fuck? Popular. This was a month ago that he got arrested. Three men charged for stun at a Jaguars game. Get the help you need. Arrested for a foolish stunt. I mean, like, that's stupid, but, like, I'm not going to be pissed at him for that. But the other charges seem more serious. Getting arrested for, for streaking at a football game is much less serious than, like, assault with a deadly weapon. What the fuck? Low life for the sub. X-Pand in, uh, or X-Pand for the sub. All right, we'll watch one more vid. Tomorrow, we're going to do a philosophy stream and maybe some va- Do you guys want to do philosophy in Valorant or philosophy in Fortnite tomorrow? Because we're tomorrow's going to be a philosophy stream and then a game, and then Thursday is going to be philosophy and Val. Thursday will be philosophy and Val. So I think, I think we might do a Val game both days. You guys want to do that? Because I already did Fortnite for like four hours. Like, I think like a few days ago. We'll do that. We'll do like tomorrow we'll do philosophy and then like two games of Val. And then Thursday we'll do full, uh, a, re a react stream and then like two games of Val or something like that. Is that good? Somebody said hi on life. Dude, we're never playing that again. We finished it. I already watched the ending of the game. All right. We'll watch one more vid. Do you guys want to watch a scary vid or a regular one? Scary or regular? We'll watch scary. The dummy. Oh, horror comedy. Okay. We could watch this. A horror comedy. Little last bin horror com, horror rom com, horror com. All right, we'll watch this. 
Cam for the fringe bits. You should watch Beyond Scared Straight. We already have. Oh, do regular. Okay, we'll do regular then. We'll watch. We'll watch a regular, uh, scary short film. We'll watch like a real short one. <laughs> Don't sleep. This was released eleven days ago. All right, hold up. Got to turn off the light. Blake for the three hundred bits. Will you be my armed bodyguard? No, I've been itching to know this. Says Miss MX Jerky. What that mouse do? Stop. Also, chat right after stream today. Uploading a YouTube video. Actually, a scary YouTube video too. We're doing Where's Waldo? It's the it's my reaction to the Waldo short, and then the other video where I actually got really scared. Um, <laughs> we watched a video of where of this short uh, short film about Where's Waldo, and I shit myself. I was so fucking scared. Not actually shit myself. All right, don't sleep. Also, exclamation point Discord. Join the Discord. Send videos to react to. Tomorrow is going to be a philosophy stream. We have a bunch of vids for that already. But Thursday, if you want to send videos for the React Day Thursday. Uh, you are welcome to. We're going to be doing Philosophy tomorrow and then Valorant. And then Thursday, we're going to be doing a regular React stream, then Val. Then I will be gone from December 5th, or from December 30th to January 5th. Big dubs. Raining for the sub. But I'll be uploading on YouTube and TikTok while I'm gone. While I'm gone, December 30th to the 5th, the only platform I won't be on is Twitch just because it's live streaming. What do you mean by philosophy stream? I'm a philosophy and religion major in college. Uh, and so philosophy stream is kind of like, we talk about morality and then life and death and maybe religion or even political philosophy. We'll talk about anything. Philosophy streams is kind of where my chat and I can just discuss anything. We still watch videos for reference, but it's basically me talking for like three hours and my chat giving their opinion. Uh, like the impulsive reaction. If you watch that, where I was talking about religion and shit, like we'll, we'll watch, we'll watch shit like that. Not necessarily all about religion. I don't even know if we're doing a religion topic tomorrow. I usually try and keep everything kind of segmented. But we do get off um, off topic a lot. Because philosophy, you kind of ping pong everywhere. Hello? Get ready. I'm on my way over. I can't go out tonight. I need to study. It's a three-day weekend. You have plenty of time to study. Now get ready. I'm serious. Elf friend. Elf friend. Elf friend. Uh, kids trying to be productive. The friends trying to get them to not be productive. L. In midterm Monday, I can't fail. You're not gonna fail. I know I'm not. I'm going to stay in and study. I'll go out with you next weekend. Boo, fine. Have fun studying. Bye. You sure you can't come, Skylar? Yes, my exam's Monday at 8 a.m. Exclamation point. Bro's got the coffee cup right there. It's fucking middle of the night. What's going to be scary? Has she not slept this whole time? Nothing happens. It's not scary. Well, we're already halfway through. It's only two minutes. We'll watch another one Saturday. You've been up for three days straight. I'm giving the fuck up. I failed the exam for that. You wouldn't even remember anything. If you didn't sleep for two days, your memory's gonna be fucked. Bro, come on. What the is this? What? It, How is that a short horror film? How is that a short horror film? How is that scary at all? Hotel visitor. Oh, you missed the exam. Ah! She missed the exam! It's not fucking scary. Soapy for the sub. Raining for the sub. Josh for the 70th. 
That ominous light sound. <laughs> Fucking hate that shit. Eleven forty nine or eleven forty five. Bro's got the vape. What flave? What flave? Looking like a lush ice. Looking like a lush ice, maybe. Lush ice. Lush ice on the vape. Bro got it from the local gas station. High quality. Mango slush. Mango slush. Bro's want a puff. Five thousand puffs. Bro had to hit a quick rip. Quick blinky. Bro's getting a call from Scam Likely, Cincinnati, Ohio. <gasps> Ohio? Don't tell me he's in Ohio. Fucking cringe. Bro, it said Scam Likely, and bro actually answered. Why is Shaggy in Ohio? Oh, I thought that wasn't him. Oh my god, that scared the fuck out of me. Oh, another rip? Another quick rip? The mango slush? Another another ripski? Another ripski? This will hold him over for the next day or two? Another quick rip? Oh, vape put him to sleep. Will Nikki? Will Nikki put him to sleep? <laughs> Was vaping in bed. A little quick rep before before the snooze fast. Don't want to be don't want to be fiending in the dreams. Got to got to remember to bring the got to remember to bring the neck high into the dreams. Helps the dream realm. Oh, don't tell me they die. Oh, don't tell me something. Oh, stop. Oh, my God. I'm getting, I'm, I'm being a bitch. I'm being a bitch. I thought somebody was going to be behind him. Whoa. What happened? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God! What's in what's in this mango slush? What's in this mango? This I got this from the Express Mart. Normally I go to the pantry. Ugh. 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 The the mango slush. There, I, there might be some DMT in this. Ah! <laughs> oh my God! Oh. Holy shit! That scared the fuck out of me. I was too busy making nicotine jokes. Holy fuck! <laughs> That fucking scared the shit out of me. Bro, I'm dipping out the window, though. Second I see him running the hotel, I'm calling the hotel. Bro, don't close that. I ain't know what the fuck I'm going to do. I'm going to just watch that thing. It's going to be behind him. Do not go out in the hall. Do not go out in the hall. For the love of God, do not go out in the hall. Oh my god, that's the last- Oh, you're a fucking dumbass. Oh, you're such a fucking idiot. Why would you ever open the door? Why would you ever open the fucking door? Why would you ever open the fucking door? I'm just closing that- <laughs> Why would you do that? Now you're fucked. Now you're fucked. Jump out the escape window. It's gonna be right there. Hiding. Fuck. Oh my god. Dude, get another quick rip. Another quick rip ski of the neck. If he hits it again while he's fucking searching for a forest demon, I'll freak out. He hits it again. Oh my god, my nicotine. I'm gonna let go of my drink because I know I'm gonna fucking jolt when I see something. Bro's got the Chucky, the Chucky shirt on too. 
bro watches horror films and is still fucking searching for the forest demon. Leave it alone. Ah! Ah! Oh my god, dude. If I saw that, I, I would actually just shit my pants. I would immediately shit my pants. You're fucking kidding me. That's not even scary. You're saying that? You're saying that it's not scary because you're watching it? But imagine you're actually at a hotel and you see that. I'm not even scared. Bitch, you would be so upset. Bro's trying to get on the elevator? Yeah, let's wait for that. Yeah, what a good plan. What a good plan. Let's wait for the fucking elevator, you dumbass. Go down the stairs. He's still gonna be there. <clears throat> Go in the elevator. What are you doing? Why are you looking for it? That was not a scary ending, even though I screamed. That wasn't a scary ending. I was good. MX for the sub. N Davis in Sarome for the sub. Sophie for the sub. Josh for the 700 biddies. Bro, hit the Nikki stick. Do we watch one more? One more for the vibes? No. No. We'll, we'll, we'll cue this one for next time. I've been live for four hours. All right. Oh, shit. I just added that to, that to the wrong one. Hold up. Scary videos. Uncheck. All right. Who do we raid, chat? W reacts L high on life. Exactly. L high on life stream. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that the high on life stream didn't go as planned. I was really looking forward to it. We got to play a little bit of it, and then it just glitched the fuck out. Hopefully, um, we can play. Uh, wait, what was I even going to say? I was going to say, hopefully we play it again, but we're not playing it again. Hopefully, uh, other games won't do that, and my PC should be fine for the future. But, you know, High on Life was kind of a shit show from the start. Um, but, yeah, I'll be live tomorrow. Everybody be there. Be square 2 p.m. EST for the Philosophy stream. We haven't done one of those in for a while, so that should be a dub. W Philosophy stream. Then we're going to be playing uh, some Valorant after that tomorrow. Thursday, we're going to be doing a regular React stream, and then some Valorant again after that. Then I will be gone from December 30th to the 5th. When we get back, we're going to be doing some React, some Fortnite, some Val, some Little Hope. We're starting that. Uh, we're going to start the toilet horror game that I said I was going to be doing. We're going to be playing some FMB games. We got a lot set for when I'm back. Uh, also, while I'm gone, I will still be posting on YouTube. Actually, a bit more than normal because I won't be streaming. I'll still be posting on TikTok, but I will not be streaming from December 30th to the 4th. I will likely be live the 5th, but not a guarantee. Anyways... We are going to raid, um, who do I want to raid? <laughs> who do we want to raid? T. Nichols? We can raid T. Nichols. Oh, somebody said Toasty OG. I already said I was going to raid T. Nichols. We'll raid T. Nichols today. Um, hold up. I hope you guys had fun watching the stream. I had fun streaming for you guys. Uh, and Django from Three Chips. I will see you guys tomorrow. We are going to rate. Hold on, I gotta sneeze. Everybody say bless you. Thank you. Anyways, I will be live tomorrow at 2 p.m. EST for, for the philosophy stream. I'm sorry, High on Life didn't work out as it was supposed to, but we still gotta play a bit of the game. You guys gotta watch me rage for like two hours straight. And we still watched the video of the ending, so that at least finished the game off in that sense. I will see you guys tomorrow for the philosophy stream and Valorant and Thursday for um, reactions and Valorant. Then I'll be gone from December 30th to the 4th. We'll be back the 5th doing reactions, FMB games, uh, Little Hope, starting a bunch of new games, Fortnite, Val, all the staples as well. Hope you guys had fun watching the stream. I'm going to upload on YouTube directly after I end this stream. I will see you guys later. We are going to raid in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.
Did it raid? Damn. All right. 